Within Costa Rica is a spectacular towering edifice referred to as the Arenal Volcano. This volcano has very little erosion present because it completely formed in the last 7,500 years. Before then, this volcano in the form of any other vents simply did not exist. However, despite being a very young volcano, Arenal is not the world's youngest volcano. In El Salvador, we have the Azalco volcano, which sprung out of the ground in 1770 and has erupted frequently since then. Or, in Nicaragua, we have the Cerro Negro volcano, which was born in 1850. And, in Alaska, we have the Novarupta volcano, which produced the world's largest volcanic eruption of the 20th century and did not exist before 1912. None of these volcanoes are quite as young as another volcano which did not exist before erupting in 1943. I am not referring to Paracutan, but rather the Waiowa Volcano in Papua New Guinea. The Waiowa Volcano is located in Papua New Guinea, where it is 210 kilometers or 130 miles east of the city of Port Moresby. Along with the Victory Volcano to the north and Lamington Volcano to the northwest, Waiowa exists due to the same geologic setting. To the north is the edge of the so-called Trobrian Trough, which marks the edge of a plate boundary that once subducted towards the south underneath a large tectonic plate. However, this subduction is most likely no longer ongoing, and as a result, a slab of material has likely broken off. Partial melting then occurred on this slab, and due to a divergent plate boundary to the south caused upwelling of the mantle and created a series of weak points, allowing for magma to intrude into the crust and erupt onto the surface. Although current science suggests that this volcano did not exist before it erupted in 1943, I am slightly skeptical of this analysis. From satellite, I can make out two potential cinder cones within a radius of 10 kilometers or 6 miles. Although densely forested, these could be quite young as in this part of the world, lava flows take less than 100 years to be recovered by rainforest vegetation. There are also two more distant cinder cones to the north-northwest, but these are likely part of the Victory Volcanic Complex. Before Waiowa first erupted in 1943, it was preceded by a series of many earthquakes which were large enough to be felt. My interpretation of these presumably magnitude 4 or larger earthquakes is that they were caused by the movement of magma breaking and fracturing overlying rock in the area with very little recent activity. Finally, the low silica but gas-rich magma erupted onto the surface, creating a series of intermittent explosions. Due to the area's abundant groundwater, the magma explosively interacted with it, generating pyroclastic flows and surges which traveled a few kilometers distant. As the eruption continued, the explosively ejected material fell back to the ground forming cinders on a steep Syed hill, which would later become a cinder cone. During this eruption, which lasted until 1944, numerous nearby villages evacuated due to the thick ashfall they received. From satellite, if you look at the 1985 imagery, you can see part of the outline of the area which received heavy enough ashfall to affect the color of the soil. At the end of the eruption, the volcano produced another large explosion, carving out a 700 meter wide explosion crater which is now partially filled in with a lake. Although it is unknown whether or not this vent will erupt again, I presume it is monogenetic, aka it will only erupt once. A future eruption, in my opinion, is most likely to occur in the area I have outlined on screen. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new YouTube member Judy Menzel for supporting this channel.